Sam Lauke for irishboxing.com, delighted to be joined by Tiernan Bradley, a successful Tiernan Bradley after his second round stoppage, second round KO I should say actually, KO, yeah. on the Mark Dunlop show here in the Europa Hotel. Uh, Tiernan, first of all, congratulations. Thank talk, you very much. Talk to me about how you feel after getting a spectacular KO like that. Fantastic, um, great buzz, um, great to have supporters up. Um, first round was kind of negative, kind of pushed a little bit too hard. Not that the nerves got the best of me, I just wanted to push him and see what he was made of. Wasn't really made of much, made of much, and then second round he just set the trap, loaded the right hand, and down he went, over and done one, got out of there. Yeah. Is it kind of a, a different kind of feeling or a special feeling when you get a, a stoppage versus kind of when you get a, a points win? Um, yeah, I mean, I've only ever had a one points win in my career. Okay. One, uh, the other one that doesn't show was a knockout was a DQ, even though I pulled out five times. <laughs> so yeah, much different. Uh, different. Um, I mean, it's always a great buzz to get the KO in front of your fans. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, don't get me wrong. So just it's good to get the win, but a KO especially, you know what I mean, especially in your home debut. And I just want to bring another like the KO rail really keep, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, especially at home. Like you know, some of the big punchers have fought here um, previous. You know, Javante Davis fought here as an amateur. Um, he fought Jared Matthews um, as an amateur. Sorry, I'm a popular man tonight. Uh, James <laughs> Tennyson fought here by Tommy McCarthy. Um, so yeah, I'm glad to add to the. <laughs> I'm glad to add to the the the, the boxers uh, that has fought the Europe. Yeah. 100% man. Yeah, it was a great performance and congratulations as I say. I mean, where do you kind of go from here? You're after moving to 5-0. 6-0. 6-0 now, you're 5-0 beforehand. Sorry mate, I thought it was 4-0. 5-0 uh, on box rack there. Yeah, well, that must be, that's what I was debut, uh, wasn't put up in box rack because there was a split in the governing body in Poland. Um, and the guy started the new governing body as a box rack editor in Poland. So, that's the thing is that didn't he didn't put up the other governing body, but it's still sanctioned by the EBU. It's still a professional fight. It's just the back rack editor, editor is a prick. Okay, so it's not on box rack, but it is an official. Yes, yeah, official fight. Okay, so my apologies yeah, that so I had that don't wrong. Don't go by box rack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Well, six and zero. Yeah. There you go. Um, you've had a lot of experience. You've had different experiences. Some people might know you from having sparred Conor McGregor, right, yeah. for the Floyd Mayweather fight. Yeah, well, as a kid, you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, I still I was still an amateur at the time, and uh, kind of fell off the, fell off the radar after that. But um, fell off the radar after that. Uh, Go ahead if you need to. No, answer. no, it's fine. It's just people wondering where I'm. Uh, they want me out. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, I fell off the right radar, but soon got back on the, the mm -hmm. ladder, and I'm climbing the ladder ladder quite fast, even though I had name months out of the ring there. Yeah. Um, I'm still ahead of a lot of people in the rankings, um, even though Boxrec doesn't include my pro debut. I'm still ahead of a lot of people who has like 10, 11, 12 fights mm. unbeaten. You know, I'm up there, I've got a lot of points there in Boxrec. And that's like, I'm climbing the ladder, I'm climbing the ladder, and I'm hoping I'll be in the top 100 within the next year. Mm. You know, I'm pushing on for them titles. You know, I've, this is my fifth scheduled six rounder. Only went the distance once, six. Um, but I, I can do six easy. Like I've sparring eight, ten rounds in, in the in the gym all the time. So I'm ready to step up at any any time. No, you know, Mark wants me to headline the show next time. I'll I'll do it. No bother. Excellent. I was gonna actually ask you about that. You're obviously here working with Mark Dunlop. Um, I'm interested in a few different things around that. First of all, let's talk about the show. What was it like for you fighting on Mark's show in the Europa Hotel? As you said, it's kind of a some big names have fought in in this room in this hotel, so it's nice from a nostalgic point of view or a historical point of view to be here. But what was it like on the night fighting in front of your fans, fighting at home, fighting on Mark's show? What was it like working with him? And um, let's go with that first. Yeah, well, look, I was. You know, it's funny enough. It's the first time I said this, and and three since we fight. Walking out, I get chills in the back of my neck. You know, it's a crazy, crazy atmosphere. Nothing will beat it. Um, I've been listening to Milwaukee tune for, for for ages, you know, coming up to here, and it's a little bit of a, an edgy, edgy uh, Milwaukee tune, a little bit of a build up, and then as I come out, everybody was cheering, and it was just it was bliss, you know. Um, fair play to Mark for putting on these dinner shows; they're absolutely fantastic. Everybody gets dressed up, everybody gets drunk, have a great crack, and then they head out afterwards. You know, we're finished by eleven o'clock, so it's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. It is. It's a nice set. It's a nice show. But 
who are you actually working with at the moment then? So who's kind of managing your career? And I'm interested in, it's funny because you had that big exposure by sparring McGregor, yeah. right? At uh, kind of a peak of his powers. And then, as you said, that was for the Mayweather fight, right? So then, you kind of, as you said, you maybe fell back a little after, and I would have thought that it would have been a really good kind of platform to you to maybe get signed or to move on, you know, and be kind of in the limelight a little bit. Talk to me, talk me through kind of your your management promotion side of your I, well, career look, at the moment. All, that's all in the past now, you know, I've put, put that in the past. Um, um, when I turned pro, it's like I turned pro as a, a novice. Mm. That's the way I looked at it. Um, my team has gotten me where I am today. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm working with Scott Welsh now. Um, he's a WBC representative. He's a big, big man in British boxing, um, and he's able. He's going to push me on now in British boxing, get me in those positions where you know it's going to get me name out there and get me um, in positions where I can really push on, mm. get up the rankings, and get me in them fights. Um, but yeah, like. It is what it is. My past is my past, and I'm uh, really just looking forward to, to the future. future yeah, you know? that's fair. I was just interested in kind of. Did you expect to get more? You got a lot of exposure, so did you expect to kind of get more of a platform not through really. that, or didn't expect anything? Because I'm not that type of person to um, to, be, to to expect everything in my life. You know, I work hard for it. Um, I'm not that type of person. Um, I, I work hard for the things that I want. I I, I want in life. Um, but yeah, I'm not that type of guy to expect everything to be handed to me. Yeah, I get you. You know, and I'm just as I'm saying, I'm, with my work rate, my passion for the sport, I feel like I can go far. So. I'm just looking forward to seeing what the future yeah. is, you know. What's next for you? Um, I'm hoping to have a fight now in the next month or two. Um, just fighting at 140. Today I fought at 145, just above 140. Mm. So I'll fight at 140 in the next fight, and then work on from there, start building up them super lightweight rankings. Brilliant. Look, we'll leave it there, Tiernan. Thank, you very, Thank you very much for talking Cheers. to irishboxing.com. Really much. appreciate it. And congratulations. Go on.